Lots of time, two little candles. Wait, strike that, reverse it. It's fall, it's September. Bath and Body Works is ready. They've got everything all ready and beautiful for fall. If you have not been in there, go. If you want to shop online, this video will also help you as well. I took a lot of clips I'm going to share with you guys today as I go through some of the candles that I will be burning in my home. And I will also include timestamps down below so you can skip around in this video. If you're new today, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to Home Sweet Hearth. On my channel, I like to talk about everything cozy. So if you like that, make sure you're subscribed and say hi in the comments so that I can welcome you to my channel. I have a variety of scents for you guys today. I have fresh and clean ones, spicy ones, baking scents. Now, one thing to be aware of is that Bath and Body Works came out with a new rewards program to so make sure you have the app downloaded on your phone walking into the store that you're logged in and there might be an extra coupon on there so there is a new rewards program make sure that you go ahead and enroll so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the three wicks okay so in the fall I really really love apple scents and this one caught my eye immediately I love this design it's called apple orchard lane fresh autumn apples cedarwood trail I don't know how you put a trail into a candle, but it has it in there, and cinnamon bark. It is just exactly what you picture when you go to the apple orchard. I really would love one more of this one. It's a beautiful color, and then this really beautiful scenery on the front. I thought this was beautiful packaging. You could switch out the lid for a gold lid if you keep your lids. I always keep my lids so that I can switch them out if I don't like the one that came with it. This one came with a silver swirly one, which I think I would like the gold or brassy ones more with this one. Definitely apple forward. Woods are in there, but they're not strong. So like if you are not somebody who likes a woodsy candle, then don't stray away from this one because it's actually really pretty much like apple orchard scent. If you're also not a cinnamon person, don't let that scare you off because it's not a big, big scent in here. The main one is strong delicious, juicy apples, and I cannot wait to burn this one. This will be one of the first ones that I burn in September. Also an apple scent, this one is called Apple Weather. This one I have some left over from last year. This is a delicious scent as well. Fresh farm sand apples, lavender leaves, and cinnamon bark. So it sounds like very similar, but they went with lavender. I did see another apple one that was called Honey Crisp Apple, and it was really, really similar to this. Honey Crisp Apple is a little bit more sweet. If you like sweet apple, that one would be the one to go for. And if you like true fresh fall apple scent, then I would go for the apple orchard this lane. It's called Pumpkin Bonfire. This packaging is from last year, but they do have this scent out again this year and it has beautiful packaging. I'll put it right here so you can see what it looks like. And it is a delicious scent. It's got white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds and glowing embers. It has a little tiny smoke, but not too much. This is one of my favorite scents, all of fall into one candle. Cozy and welcoming and it definitely has pumpkin, but I almost feel like it has apple in it but it doesn't list it on there it's almost like pumpkin apple cloves and like a little bit of smoke it is really 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 delicious and it's not too smoky so if you are somebody who doesn't like the smoky scents not like the uh marshmallow fireside like those that you can truly smell the smoke this one just has a hint of it and it has great throw this would be one of my top top picks for fall and the reason why i have a full one from home from last year is because i think i bought two or three last year so go check it out pumpkin bonfire it's a really really good one this is pumpkin spice latte and this packaging is so beautiful it is just so fall oh my gosh pumpkin pie spice freshly brewed espresso and homemade whipped cream sprinkling of cinnamon sugar beautiful cannot wait to burn this in the morning it smells like a fresh brewed cup of coffee with a little bit of pumpkin it is more coffee than pumpkin which i'm not mad about i definitely think it's um, more like espresso heavy than pumpkin but it's creamy and it's spicy and it's just delicious hashtag psl below if you're a psl person if you're into baking scents Banana walnut muffin. I have two full ones left from last year. You guys, I think this is like probably my top candle of all time. They have it this year. This is last year's packaging. I hate the packaging this year so much and I'm so glad I have two from last year, but that's okay because they make holders. If you love the packaging or it doesn't bother you, then that's awesome. But this is what it looks like this year. Sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. This is ridiculously cozy, like the perfect fall baking candle. It is the ultimate cozy scent. Don't let the banana scare you off because there's like a small trace of banana. Even though it's listed first and that should be the strongest one, it is not nutmeg, cinnamon, sugar. It's like 
it fills your home. I get so, so many compliments on this candle. I wish I had like five of them. Please, please try this candle out if you've not given it a try. Make me the representative of this candle. It's delicious. Leaves is another three wick that I got. Crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. I hate this lid. If you love it, don't hate me, but I will be switching it out definitely. I like this packaging. I did take a little clip while I was in the store because they have a lot of them and I guess it's like the luminary type that lights up so we'll have some leaves coming through and I get one of these every single year. I don't know if they changed something with the nectar and the apple blend but it smells a little tiny different to me this year. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. It's more clove heavy I think. This one is just such a good mix if you're looking for like one fall candle. This one or pumpkin bonfire um, or harvest gathering I think are very like cozy blended scents that are very fall. Harvest gathering was also in that green um, or in that luminary uh, line and I didn't get it because I do still have a full one from last year. This was last Last year's packaging. It is a fall staple. Fresh picked apple, autumn berries, and clove buds. So they do bring in the berries. This one actually does smell more potpourri-ish than the leaves. I would say because they're blending cloves, berries, and apples, it does smell more potpourri-ish. It has good solid throat, but, but not too strong. Like not potpourri, like you stuck your nose in potpourri. It just kind of smells like a warm blend of all things like fall. And if you really like that berry scent to be mixed in with the apple, and the cloves versus pumpkin, then you will like this one more. Leaves and harvest gathering are very, very close. The leaves does not have the berry part in it, so it's just personal preference which one you like. They're both fall staples for me, but pumpkin bonfire, you guys, is knocking them out. And also that apple orchard lane, like, I want to burn that all the time. White pumpkin, they have this one again this year. Ginger white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. To me, the white pumpkin is a spicier pumpkin. It's not spicy as in like clove spicy, almost like woods spicy. Another one that they have this year is Sweater Weather. Again, different packaging. This is last year's Fresh Sage, Juniper Berry, and Aromatic Eucalyptus and Fresh Woods. It's a woodsy scent, but it's almost kind of sweet still at the same time. So I really like Sweater Weather, especially when we're starting to like transition into fall. I burned it a little bit also in between like Christmas and like winter time, like January, like because I like those like woodsy scents then. So um, if you do not love all of like the cinnamon, the cloves, all the apple stuff and that kind of thing for fall and you like something more fresh. Sweater weather is a very good staple scent for something like that. I'm gonna hop over to my single wick. So I've been kind of into single wicks, having like one three wick in one room and then a single wick in another room. I've also been using them for parties and making sure that something is always like burning in the powder room. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have for single wicks and a beautiful holder that I got that I think is just so amazing. It's this brass single wick holder and it was only $12 but it is stunning. It complements almost any color of candle and it's sturdy and $12 is a steal. My first single wick is Harvest Gathering. We've already been through the notes of this scent. This was the one that was kind of potpourri-ish. It's a little bit stronger. Great for a powder room for a party and I really liked this design and the yellow color. And then this next one is Pumpkin Clove. Look at this like milky burnt orange glass, clove buds, ground cinnamon, and a pinch of nutmeg. It's definitely on the stronger side. I like to burn more of my clove scents as we get closer to Thanksgiving. It'd be great again for a powder room and I just love that color. Beautiful with the gold foil accents. They had some crazy designs in the single wick, but I really love this like simple design that they have going. And this one is sweater weather, which we already went through again, fresh and clean woodsy scent for fall. So. Again, another good one to have in the single wick. And look at this creamy gray. I thought that was really nice and neutral. I love it when they make designs that fit well with the decor. Some of the crazy designs just drive me nuts because I'm like, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't even wanna look at that when I'm pulling it out by myself. I really love the simple design of this. So I got one of this in the sweater weather. Beautiful with this brass holder. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Um, so this one is from last year, Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. And then I got another single wick, Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. I love to burn this up in my office. It's like a cinnamon roll, straight cinnamon roll. Fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, and vanilla bean. It's creamy, cinnamony, it is delicious. So if you like the smell of like baking cinnamon rolls, then you're gonna like this one. This is one that I burn in my home all year long, like throughout the year. I think it's a very cozy, not too strong scent. And if you like the vanilla, then it definitely has some of that mixed into it. Okay, this next one is a brand new one for me and it's kind of outside of my norm. Hot springs and salted moss. And actually, I almost didn't even smell it. You lost me at salted moss, right? Like. 
kind of weird. So this one has salted moss. I don't even know what that would smell like, but it just sounds like not appealing. Soft lavender, cedar wood, and it is a woodsy clean scent and almost like has like a spa feel to it too. It's almost like between perfume and cologne. If you like the mahogany scents, then you'll probably like this one. Really beautiful packaging. Like this is like a gorgeous landscape. They had a whole line of these uh, landscape ones and I thought they were really beautiful. And this could be burned any time of the year. Here are some of the remaining clips that I have from in the store just so that you can kind of see other scents that were out. So hopefully this makes your choosing a little bit easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this early September fall candles video. There is just nothing more cozy than candles. Go pick out your favorites. Let me know in the comments what you picked to burn in your home this fall. I always love hearing what you've tried out and what your impressions were. So please comment below. And if you like this kind of video here on my channel, give this one a thumbs up. I do have some more fall videos coming out, so make sure you're subscribed before you leave today. Go ahead and put my full playlist right here, which is where my new videos will go as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.